In the second part of video of arithmetic sequence series, we will learn question number two. So you can see here, find the sum of the following series. Sum formula, we have two formulas of sum which is already provided you. And here we have to find out sum of 20 terms. So you can see here question number A. 7 plus 11 plus 15 plus 19 divided as up to 20 term. 20 term means n is equal to here 20. This is the value of n, 20 term. So let's take a start here. Here, what is the value of A first term? First term means A. So we can write here first term A is equal to 7. After this, we have to find out common difference. Common difference D is equal to, always we have to subtract uh, second term minus first term or you can do third term minus second term. Formula is Tn plus 1 minus Tn. So Tn. Suppose n is equal to 2, so 2 plus 1, 3, 3, and here we have to write down 2, or we can write 2, t2 minus t1. You can write anything. If in the place of n, we have to write 1, then 1 plus 1, 2, and here 1. So formula is Tn plus 1 minus Tn, or t2 minus t1, or t3 minus t1, t2, you can write anything. So what is the value of t2 here? 11. So we have to write here 11 minus t1. t1 is equal to 7, so we have to write here 7. Now when you subtract this, we get here 4. So how many terms are here? Number of terms 20. So we can write here number of terms is equal to 20. Now we have to use formula of sum and find out sum of 20 term. So we know that we know that we have two formula. So which formula we have to use? Sn is equal to we have to use this one n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1d. I will show you why to use this formula and not another one. Another formula we have I will write here do not copy this one. Another formula is there n by 2 a plus l. This formula we have. We have two formula. One is this another one is this. So when to use this and when we have to use this. Now look at this one first of all. Here and n means number of term. We have number of term how much? 20 term. n is equal to 20 we have. a the value of a also we have a is equal to what is here 7 okay the value of a also we have 7 what is the l l means last term you can see here here is dot 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 but last term is not given so l value of l is not given so we cannot use this formula okay l is not given last term is not given this 20 term means n is equal to 20 not last term okay so value of l is not given so no need to use this formula we have to use this now you can see here why to use this and value of n we have n means what number of term which is 20 a means first term which is given here 7 n means 20 number of term means 20 which is here d means common difference common difference what is here 4 means every values are given so we have to use sn formula some formula this one not this one now n means 20 so we have to write here 20 by 2 2a2 2 the value of a means first term first term is equal to 7 so we have to write on 7 plus n means 20 20 term are there so 20 minus 1 and d d means common difference which is 4 so we have to write on here 4 and now just we have to solve here we get 10 7 to the 14 plus here 20 minus 1 19 and 19 into 4 we have to multiply we get 76 so we have to write here 76 and then we have to add 14 so when you add 14 we get 90 so 10 into 90 and when you multiply we get here 900 so sum of 20 term is equal to how much we get here 900 now look at question number B this question also same like question number a minus 3 plus 3 plus 9 divided as up to 14 term here also n is equal to given 14 okay so let's take a start here the value of a a is equal to what here first term is equal to minus 3 so we have to write minus 3 d common difference t2 minus t1 so t2 is equal to what is here or we can write here t2 minus t1 then only we can put the value what is the value of t2 here 3 so we have to write 3 minus is here so minus and t1 is equal to what is the value of t1 and a both are same this t1 means first term and a also means first term and t1 is equal to what is a minus 3 minus minus it will be plus so here we get here 6 so common difference d is equal to we get here 6 number of term n is equal to what is here 14 14 now we have to use formula sn formula what is the formula of um, sum n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 
d now just we have to put the value and we have to solve n is equal to what is the value of n 14 so we have to write here 14 by 2 and here 2 the value of a is equal to minus 3 so minus 3 plus n is equal to number of term is equal to 14 so we have to write here 14 minus 1 and the value of d is 6 common difference is 6 so we have to write down here 6 now let's calculate this one here we get here 7 okay 2 7s are 14 here 2 into minus 3 minus 6 plus now just calculate this one we get here 14 minus 1 13 into 6 we get here 78 so let's write down here 78 after this 7 into from 78 when you subtract 6 we get here 72 and when you multiply this one we get here 7 to the 14 4 and sense of 49 1 50 so 504 is the answer hope you understand this question number b now look at question number c question number c is uh, different than question number a and b you can see here we have a question 2 plus 10 plus 12 plus 17 divided as 120 here term is not given 120 term is not given it means value of n is not here last term is this first term is 2 and the last term is 120 sorry 102 so let's take a start here first term first term a is equal to what we have 2 and the last term last term b or tn you can write anything here 102 okay to here after that the common difference we have to find out but before finding common difference what is the formula of sn first of all focus there what is the formula of sn we have two formula n by 2 a plus l and another formula is n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 d okay so which formula we have to use here b or l both are same last term means b also l also last term we have a also we have n n we don't have n we have to find out and if we use this formula n we don't have a we have d we have to find out common difference d we can find out easily 7 minus 2 we have to do we get d also we have l also we have to find out n so how to find out n now we have to use formula tn tn means last term tn you can say tn you can say b you can say l these all terms are same this mean last term either tn either b either l the meaning of these all terms means last term what is the formula of tn a plus n minus 1 d so we need d also tn means last term what is given here 102 so we have to write here 102 is equal to a a means what is here first term is equal to 2 2 plus n minus 1 we have to find out n number of term how many terms are there and d d means common difference so we can write here d is equal to common difference is equal to 7 minus 2 so write here 7 minus 2 is equal to 5 so here we have to write on 5 when you solve this we get value of n so 102 is equal to 2 plus 5 n minus 5 into 1 5 102 is equal to 2 minus 5 we get minus 3 plus 5 n so 102 plus 3 is equal to 5 n 105 is equal to 5 n then we get here 105 by 5 is equal to n therefore the value of n 5 and the 5 5 2 the 10 5 and the 5 so 21 so number of uh, term n is equal to 21 now we have n also we have a also we have l also so you can use this formula and this formula we can use or not let's say n value of n also we have just now we got 21 a we have n also we have d also we have it means either you can use this formula or this formula we can use any formula now now sn is equal to n by 2 a plus l what is the value of n 21 so we have to write here 21 by 2 value of a a means first term what we have value of a means 2 so we have to write here 2 and the value of l l means last term last term is equal to how much given here 102 i told you before also t n b l all are same meaning last term so here we have 102 let's calculate 21 by 2 into when you add we get here 104 2 ones are 2 2 5s are 10 2 2s are 4 we get here 21 into 52 let's multiply 
we get a 21 into 52 and we get 1092 1092 is the answer so sum of 21 term is equal to 1 1092 hope you understand this question here terms are not given first of all we have to find out number of terms then we have to find out sum hope you understand this question next look at question number d this question is also similar to question number c so let's take a start here what is the first term first term a is equal to 72 after that last term last term b l t n you can write anything b l t n anything you can write last term means 40 given we have to find out common difference also common difference d is equal to t2 t minus t1 means 70 minus 72 we have 70 minus 72 we get here minus 2 after that number of terms we have to find out so or now tn formula we have to use what is the formula a plus n minus 1 d now what is the value of tn tn is equal to what we have 40 so we have to write here 40 tn l and b all are same so tn means last term is equal to 40 what is the value of a a means 72 so write on here 72 plus n we have to find out so n minus 1 and d is equal to minus 2 so write on here minus 2 40 we have to take this to the left side so we have to change the sign so we have to write minus 2 is equal to minus 2 into n minus 2 n minus minus plus 2 and when you subtract 40 minus 72 we get minus 32 so we have to write here minus 32 take 2 also here we get minus 2 here is plus 2 so we have to when you change the sign we have to when you change the places you have to change the sign also so here is positive 2 so we have to write on negative 2 is equal to minus 2 n so when you add this we get here minus 34 is equal to minus 2 n now this is multiplication so we have to divide so 34 divided by minus 2 is equal to n therefore the value of n is equal to 2 ones are 2 14 2 7 are 14 so number of term is equal to 17 n is equal to 17 so we have two formula to use uh, sum to find out sum of terms you can use any formula because we have l also we have d also we have n also so now sn formula is n by 2 a plus l you can use another one also we will get same answer n means number of terms how much here 17 so we can write 17 by 2 a a means first term how much we have 72 and l means 40 last term so we can write here 72 plus 40 and just calculate this one 72 by 2 into here is nothing then multiply and when you add we get here 2 7 plus 4 we get 11 so 11 not 2 ones are 2 2 fives are 10 12 to 6 are 12 and here 17 into 56 now just multiply 17 into 56 and we get 952 so we can write here 952 is the answer of question number 2 d so in this second part i already solved question number 2 a b c d if you understand please hit the like button and if you're new on my channel please consider subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos keep sharing with your friends too thanks for watching till last and in next part i will solve question number three as well as four thank you